Happening now, six months after Hurricane Michael slammed the Florida Panhandle, the superintendent of Bay County Schools is crying out for help from the state and the federal government. He says not only are they not getting money to help rebuild, money is being taken away from them. And if no help comes soon, he will be forced to lay off 600 employees. This hurricane has affected us in every part of our lives and continues to affect us today. I don't have a lot of hope that D.C. will all of a sudden realize how much we need them to work together for us. A true bipartisan effort. Bay County Superintendent Bill Husfeld can no longer contain his emotion. In a news conference this morning, he says he stood by and watched his employees and students suffer tremendously after Hurricane Michael, and he says no one is coming to their rescue. They come back to school every time it rains, and they start crying and physically shaking. Since Michael devastated their part of the panhandle, Bay County has had to close three schools, 43 are still damaged and it will cost millions to fix. They've lost more than 3,000 students and over 200 employees. Instead of getting money, Husfeld says the state is slashing their money. We are projecting a $37.2 million short shortfall through next year without relief we are asking for. We are $250 million short of fixing all the damages we incurred with no visible plan from the state for a loan program to rebuild. If no money comes soon, Husfeld says he will be forced to lay off 600 employees. And as the county's largest employer, that will completely crush an already devastated community. With a $6 billion rainy day fund, I assume it was for emergencies. Someone please tell me a greater emergency than what we're dealing with. The superintendent is asking for Senate Bill 520 to be approved. Now, this would bring relief to the school districts impacted by Hurricane Michael by not taking money from the districts due to enrollment changes. Now, he is asking everyone to write the president, the U.S. and your state representatives to give Bay County the help they need.